what's up guys i want to welcome you back to another video today's video is going to be a plus size walmart haul everything was under a hundred dollars because your girl is balling on a budget oh this is the first outfit the shirt is super cute because you can wear it like this with a little curve the pants however um i should have went up a size because like they're they're really tight like yeah i should have went up a size i mean they're cute but like <sighs> they would have been better of a size so i'm gonna come closer so i can show you the shirt so what i was saying let me take a step back so what i was saying about the shirt eels that it scrunches in the middle so i was thinking okay in the store like okay this would be cute like a little crop top with a little um let me tie this correctly crop top with a little high-waisted pants but uh the pants didn't not didn't they aren't working out the way i envisioned them in my mind so yeah but the top is super cute so the front is like a v and let me come just a little bit closer so the front is a v um it does have this here um i can't think of what this is called right now because my brain i'm having a brain fart <sighs> probably because i've had too much caffeine today um but yeah that's that's another day but it's cute. Um, I think it'd be cute better, probably be better with jeans. Um, I don't have any, any neck jewelry because I just don't. But this one's cute. Um, I like the back. I'm gonna step forward a little bit so you can see the back. But yeah, nah, I'm not feeling the pants. Really not feeling them. Like the pants. They're long. I don't have long legs. Um, <laughs> so they're long. But they're not, like, they're not dragging the floor. I mean, I wish they were my size because I think they would fit better if they were my size. Um, but, yeah, like, I feel like this would be cute. Um, if the pants fit better because I feel like they would come up a little bit higher and they wouldn't be so tight. Like, I feel so uncomfortable that I wouldn't want to sit in these right now. But, yeah, so let's get down to the prices. So this shirt, and I have my fan on because I'm hot. You know, it's a lot of work to be in front of a light and putting on clothes. It's just a lot. So the shirt is no boundaries. Um, I got it in a 2XL. It is a junior's top. Um, it's called Ruched Front Top, and it was $9.98. Um, this shirt is super cute. I'm going to keep it on because I have a pair of jeans I want to put on with this so you guys can see the difference. Um, the pants are also no boundaries. They are also a 2X. They are called no boundary flare pant and they are $7.88. Um, like I said, I think these would be cute if they were in a different size, but yeah, <sighs> not feeling this one. So, on to the next. <laughs> Okay, so these jeans, I'm putting them on, I'm putting these jeans on in real time because I don't want y'all to think I just slid them on easily. No, I definitely struggle with jeans. <laughs> but also, I don't want this video to get flagged, so you're only going to get the top part of this. Um, but these jeans are super cute. I'm surprised they fit, but you know, when you put on jeans, you have to be extra. Okay. Ugh. Putting on jeans is a freaking workout. That's why I haven't been wearing jeans. Like, it's just annoying. Partly because you got to get it over your calves. And then once you get it over your calves, and I have large calves, I have to then get over... <sighs> Caffeine is not working right now. Then I have to <laughs> get them over my thighs then the hips then you gotta get them over your stomach so it's just like it's like a freaking sport so yeah so i got the jeans pulled up but i gotta do a little bit of work to get this body in it which is you know cool oh ow 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 finger got stuck in the button and every time i put on jeans i always make sure to tuck in the pocket because uh 
I don't know why. I guess it gives you a little bit extra room. I'm not really sure. Okay, so these are the jeans. Cute. These are not real rips. <laughs> they are, there's material here, so they're like fake rips. But I really like these. And see, it's cute with the shirt. So, this shirt is a win for me, as far as I'm concerned. Because this is cute together. I mean, minus all the tags and stuff. But this is super cute together. So that's why I was like, I'm going to keep the top on so you guys can actually see the full potential of the top. And then you can make a choice if it's worthy for your closet, depending on your style, you know? But if those pants would have fit and they were like a true high waist like this, the outfit would have been bomb. But the pants can fit. Trial and error. It's, it just happens. So, these, come on, look, look closer. These are, I don't want to rip the tag off, but I'm going to keep them anyway, so I think so. <laughs> so, this is what these are. I don't know if you, it's kind of backwards, so I guess I got to just read it to you anyway, so you don't have to struggle. So, these are a, I guess this is shredded, because it's not sheer, but it says SHR. So, I'm going to go with shredded. So, these are a new boundary shredded curvy destructed in the color midwash now these are only $17.98 which is a hell of a good deal because i have the hardest time with jeans and they're never like in this price range like you have to catch it on a sale but sometimes when you catch it on a sale it's like either they run out of your size before you're able to get them they don't have them in the store or it's not the right style so I like these. These might this, like Walmart New Boundary might be the new go-to for me personally for jeans. I want you guys to try them out and let me know in the comments if you like them or not. Um, I prefer more of a stretch, but be careful when you go to the store because some of those jeans do not stretch, nor do they say curvy. And from my experience. And from what I've seen on different body types, even though the jeans say curvy, it doesn't necessarily mean you have to be curvy in the hips. So like if you have a lot of stomach and you don't have a lot of hips, you can still get curvy because it'll allow you that extra space. So keep that in mind when you're getting jeans. Um, Cause all jeans run differently. Like, I mean, I've had high end jeans, low end jeans. They all run differently. They're all different sizes, but you just gotta kind of gotta try them on to see how they fit. Um, but these, like, as soon as it gets fall, these the ones, honey. These is the ones. Because right now, it's like a hundred and something outside, and I can't not know. No. So, <laughs> back to the jeans. These fit similar to, like, they're not like a, oops. I think I ripped them over the pocket. Um, they're not like a jegging, but they're not stiff, like, just no stretch. So, it does have stretch in it, as you can tell. I was like stretching it out putting it on um so it is comfortable um i'm gonna show you guys something else though so every time i buy jeans and it's a little odd and it's a little awkward but i'll be in the fitting room with the door closed so i don't know i really be doing it i'm gonna show you whenever i get jeans i put them on like this and then you give it a squat test because if you can do this in the jeans, that lets you know it has stretch in it. And that lets you know that throughout the day, they may stretch out a little bit, but they may not be like stretchy to the point that they're baggy. Cause I definitely hate that part. That's what kind of like jeggings does. But um, I do this because I check for, oh, almost fell. But <laughs> I check for like this. I don't like that. Like when you bend over and your butt crack is out, that's my biggest pet peeve. I just don't like it. Like, it is what it is. So, definitely, if you can squat, try to incorporate this. But even if you can't squat, you know how, like, fitting rooms have those little benches? Just sit on the bench. So if you sit on a bench in the fitting room and you can't breathe in the button, I want to say that's what's called. I, I'm not sure. My brain is, like going 100 miles per hour right now and I'm not sure why but it could be the caffeine but <laughs> if you sit down and the button is pressing in 
then you might want to try a bigger size because it's not going to be comfortable because as we know when we put on clothes you eat when you eat you get bloated when you get bloated and your pants are already tight it's like a disaster so keep that in mind i mean that's up to you i don't want to be walking around with pants with no button so yeah but i really like these back to the jeans they're a super high rise jeggy but then again i said that they're not like super super jeggy like jeggy material they're actually jeans um it does say that it has a no gap waistband um and the fabric stretches to hug your curves which i can say that is very true because we just saw me squat and the pants were still on and i had no crack out i mean like my back was out but that's probably because i got this crop top on so you know because that worked out but yeah i would invest in these i really like these so then I'm gonna move on to the next one. But I'm gonna keep these jeans on. I thought I just saw somebody walking. <laughs> that I got from Walmart is this cute little tee. Um, I don't know, can you read it? There we go. It says Wild Spirit 1991. And it's my birth year, so I was like, oh, I gotta get this. And I am kind of like a wild spirit, so yeah, that worked out for me. But I also got it because I like this. The like cut out i was like oh she's super cute she's super cute i'm gonna get this so and it tied already i was like i ain't got tied so this would be cute for me in the summer or when it transitions from summer to fall eventually when we get back to wearing t-shirts uh, <laughs> i was like this could be cute and even now i kept the jeans on so you can see with the jeans because most likely you could probably wear with jeans or leggings um i do have a pair of leggings so i'll put the leggings on with this as well but it's just really cute Cute basic tee. It's like a. I'm gonna come up so you guys can see the color. It's like a gray, kind of gray and white. It kind of reminds me of like a cloud. Like when you look in the clouds and it's cloudy. Um, it's kind of what it reminds me of. I think it's called acid wash. No, I don't think that's what that's called. I'm not sure what it's exactly called, but whatever. Let's move on before I get distracted. Um, <laughs> this one I actually got in a 3x. Um, it is another Junior's Top. It's No Boundary Cutout Graphic Tee in Black. This one was $9.98. Um, so, yeah. It, like I said, it's a cute top. It's just a basic t-shirt, if you ask me. Like, that's all I see it for. But I'm going to try it on with the leggings so you guys can actually see. Because most likely, you know, kind of around t-shirts with leggings. At least I do. So, I'll just give you guys how I would typically wear this. Okay. Here are the leggings so high waist which i really like of course we all know i love high waist but this is kind of what it looks like let me show you what it looks like before i go into detail about the leggings this is what i was saying about the outfit because this is how it work literally <laughs> this is it like i mean i might put jewelry on probably not gold but this is what i'm wearing for the rest of the day so that's kind of what i have on i probably would have did with silver um, but yeah, this is it. Um, I'm not sure if they're see-through. Let me check the closet. Before I open this closet, don't judge my closet because <laughs> it's not clean. So they're not see-through, which I'm happy about. But yeah, okay, so let me give you a close-up. So these are from Tara, hold on, let me see. Let me say it correctly. Tara and Sky. They were $11.67 and these are a high rise fitted leggings. Now when I went they had a whole bunch of colors. So whole bunch of colors, whole bunch of styles. So I'm guessing this is in. This is gonna be in for the fall. So I'm not, you know, I'm excited about that. But <laughs> excuse me. But they had a whole bunch of colors, whole bunch of prints, and I was like, okay, these are really cute. But they really are leggings. Like, I even think this would be cute if I was able to find this top. Um, first off, it's inside out, of course, as usual. <sighs> My life. Okay. What I was saying was it would be cute if I could have found this top in a different color to wear with these black leggings. Like, that is a fit in itself. I mean, you know, if you have leggings, you know what you can do with leggings. Like, leggings is like so many possibilities like you can wear it with a t-shirt you can wear it with a tunic under a skirt under a short dress from the summer like 
leggings are like sky the limit. So, I think these are very good. I'm gonna test these out to see the quality and I'll let you guys know. But if you guys have already tried these, let me know in the comments if they're like durable or if they like rip easily or they get a hole or if you find like over time washing them they lose the color fast. Like, let me know because I won't be able to wear these until it gets cold here. And I don't think it's going to get cold here until like, let's see, it's August now. I don't think it's going to really get cold until September. Um, so yeah, if you already have them or if you, where you live is cold and you could have the opportunity to wear leggings, let a player know because I will go stack up, stack up. <laughs> I will go stock up on these. So yeah, let me know in the comments if these are good quality. Cause I've never bought leggings from Walmart uh, that aren't the like workout leggings because I already know like the workout leggings are a little bit, uh, <sighs> what's the word? Not durable, cause it's not a battery um, or a car. I would say more, I don't know. I can't think of the word right now. But like the material sticker, you know, they just, Hold you in a little bit better. I mean, these hold me in great though too, so I'm not I'm not mad at these either. But like when winter comes, winter and fall, I live in leggings. So let me know, let me know. Mm, mm, mm. So then I'm gonna move on to the next thing. So the next couple things are just like basic tank tops. Um, this one's thin. Yeah, this one's thin. You can definitely see through it. Um, so cautious if you're gonna get it print. Um, this is another no boundary. I think this one was like 388, I wanna say. Yeah, 388, I still have the leggings on. Um, but I kinda don't like these because where I sweat is in like this area. And like when your clothes stick into your rolls, it collects the sweat like a towel. So, I don't like for my tank tops to be this super fitted. Only time I will wear them super fitted like this is if I'm gonna like tuck them in. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's to each his own, but I just, this is not really my style. I mean, I wish it was a little bit thicker, but no. This one's definitely a thumbs down for me. Um, but I don't know what happened to Walmart's uh, tank top underlaying game. They used to have some really good ones, but when I was in there, I couldn't find anything. So I'm like, maybe I need to try a different Walmart um, because I always buy my like tank tops from there because they are like cheap because they're only like 388 or 288 or 488. That's the most I've seen like a regular just ribbed tank top or something. But these are not, maybe it's not this brand. What's that other brand that Walmart used to have? Because this is all no boundary stuff, which is like the junior stuff. Um, oh, Time and Truth. Those are the ones I get. Those are better. So if you ever see the Time and Truth um, camis, get those. Those are better. They, they they dress better. All around, hands down, better. But I have one more tank top to try on. I don't think this one's going to be good either because it's still a no boundary tank top. We shall see. Tank top. Um... You see how like right here, this is what, excuse me. See like how right here, this is what I mean by in the last tank top that the rust color one, what I mean by like it sticks to you because it just naturally, for me at least, naturally just sits in there. I'm pretty sure other women feel the same thing but they might not like vocalize it but it is what it is with me, like fuck it, you know? Um, This one is another No Boundaries, it was 388. It is see-through. It does not have adjustable anything. Here's, I'm gonna turn around so you can see the back. Um, the bottom is very like, there's no stretch here. It's like they reinforce the seam. So if you're wider here, you're gonna either have to wear the tank top pulled up or just deal with the fact that you're gonna have to keep pulling it down, which is super annoying. So. Wouldn't recommend that. Um, yeah, I don't really have any good words for this one. Maybe it'd be a great undershirt, like if you were putting something on on top of it, but 
then again, like I said, it like this is a little tight down here. Um, so I don't know. I guess it's whatever you prefer. I prefer them to be a little bit looser. Personally, I like the long line camis because you can tuck them in. I like if you're wearing, wearing leggings and let's say you want to wear like a regular length shirt, but you want to wear like one of the long line camis, it'll cover your butt. So like if you're insecure about it being seen or anything like that, it will come like, I'm going to stretch this one out a little bit because they don't do all that. But it would, <laughs> it would come like right here. So it would cover you if you needed that extra, you know, little confidence boost because I know that do that for somebody. So yeah. And then last thing, I hope it fits. We'll see. Did I tell you guys the price on this one? I think I did. It was $388. I'll do a total with the last outfit so that way you can see how much everything, how much it came out to be. But I think it was like... 78 $76 but I was like that's not bad for everything being another hundred dollars and really all that stuff didn't fit so I probably really only spent like fifty dollars so yeah don't be sleeping on Walmart so this is the last piece um I wanted this to be cute but I mean it's cute but it's a little short for me especially for like fall I mean I guess if you wear tights but me and tights do not have a good history so tights is out for me let me break down the pricing so this is another no boundaries and it is a 3x it's a no boundaries polo dress in green and it's 1098 so um, I got it in a bigger size because I did think it was short in the 2x which is typically what I would get but I was like, hmm, it's gonna look a little short. So I'm glad I got the bigger size because this probably would have been like, yeah, it wouldn't work. It wouldn't have made it to the video. I'd have been like, nah, that's too much. I can't do it. So don't have a spank on. Don't care. Not putting it on. Like I said, it's like 100 degrees. I don't want to struggle with that today. So just take it for what it is today. So this is this dress. Um,. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Like, nah, nah, nah. It's, it, I'm not comfortable in stuff like this. And it has like the, so, oh my God, the whole time. So the whole time I thought I had the collar out. I didn't even have a dog on call out. Okay, but this is it. This is the dress. She could be cute, you know. <laughs> she could be cute, you know, but uh, mm, mm, mm. she's too short for me. I mean, she is too short. It's comfortable, but like I said, it's way too short. Um, the arms are kind of tight, um, and I don't like that because that makes you sweat more because the material is too close to your armpits. So, fair warning. <sighs> I just really wanted this to be cute. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can sense my disappointment, but I really wanted this to be cute. <sighs> oh, let me show you the little cutout. It's not a cutout per se. So it's not a cutout per se, but it has like, yeah, it is kind of a cutout here, like a t-shirt, almost like a V. But, and it's the same on this side too. So this dress is a no for me. Um, yeah, it's not gonna work out. This is a bang. Second energy drink of the day, which is probably not good for me. But um, I'm a person who just needs caffeine. I'm probably addicted to it. Not probably, I am addicted to it. Let me, first step is to admit you have a problem. <laughs> so, <laughs> I definitely do, but I just, if not, I would be asleep right now. This video would not be as hype as, and I wouldn't be as silly as I am. I would just be like boring. So at least it's this and not like addicted to the other stuff like alcohol and drugs. Like, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, before I do this outro, I just realized putting on my clothes that my outfit for the day. This is one of the time and true tank tops I was talking about, like the long line ones. I don't even know if they're long line, long line. 
I think they're just camis, but see how long this is? And it has the adjustable straps. Wait, I'm doing it the wrong way. And it has the adjustable straps and it's not see-through. So obviously you guys can see the print of this bra. You don't see it here. So yeah, invest in those. Probably look online and see if you can order them because But I would look online and see if you can order these because I did not see these in the store because these are the ones I went into the store looking for. Um, so since I did not see them, it leads me to believe that they're either online or they're trying to like revamp them or something because normally they always have these. Um, but yeah. Oh yeah, this is today's fit. I went back to Rainbow and got some more of those lounge shorts. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> so yeah. So I think the total, like I said, the total for this whole little haul was like $76. Um, I guess I could add it up on this side, put it up here for you guys. Um, but yeah, so let me know about the leggings. I really, really want to know about the leggings. Um, so let me know for sure, for sure, for sure about the leggings in the comments down below. And then also let me guys, let me know if you guys like having two videos a week or if you just like having the one video a week um so like this video if you like have two videos a week um and as always thank you for watching subscribe comment whatever like leave me a comment let's have a conversation like i'm, I'm just let me have a conversation with you you know i'm just saying okay as always thank you for watching <laughs> bye